you try. So they want us to figure it out. A lot of people start to panic at this point. You can see they're showing you. We can get the word bananas. And now we need to do the rest. Now, if you forget how to write a for loop, simply go back, look at your previous code. When you click so show solution, you'll see it. So this is what our for loop should look like. Commit that to memory. Most of our for loops are just like this. For whatever we're doing, turn to it and step to it. We can have other things in our for loops, but these are our most common ones because we're collecting bananas. All right, so we're gonna do what they say, be in bananas. What? I tried to rush it. And then we're going to turn to B, and we're going to step distance to B. Now, a lot of people get stuck on this one because they see the turtles going forward, so they want to put step first, but we always need to turn to because we want a loop that will work for anything, no matter where the bananas are. Uh, I didn't have the turtle do it. <laughs> I bet you didn't do that. I did. That's funny. Okay, now it will work. So yeah, you also want to pay attention to if you want the monkey doing it or the banana doing it. If you had these two steps reversed, your banana would not have, or your turtle would not have gotten to all the bananas.